All right, I think we got everything taken care of now. We hope. We're going to see if everybody pits. If not, we're going to jump to the green. While this is going on, I'll explain. For some reason, my computer has had issues. Every time I've had to reboot it in any way, like Microsoft Windows type of thing, it's like the second time I had to do it. It's like different outlets become the microphone and speakers. And it turns out to be the same ones, but it was messing up after I unplugged them and plugged it back in. So pretty much had to reboot the whole entire computer. So. But there's still some little things here and there I gotta work on to get this fixed. I'll have to wait till the weekend. But looks like no one pitted other than those involved in the incident. So we're gonna fast forward to the restart, which will come right here. <laughs> Lap number five, it is Mr. Beach now in the lead. Justin Gable, Marcus Richardson, Derek Bordeaux, and Brian Ray back to racing at Talladega. Taylor Swift getting a push from Justin Gable or uh, from uh, Derek Bordeaux on the outside. Here comes Downing back in the 46. He finished second at Daytona earlier this week in a USRC race. We're going to back up that momentum. Kevin Bryant going to the back. Trying three wide, maybe not going to work. Two by two, just like to start. Looks like it will be the bottom line coming clear. Mr. Beach, Marcus Richardson going to push their way ahead. Gable and Bordeaux locked up there on the outside. Brian Ray down there at the bottom with Maverick McDonough. Troy Downing with Bobby Cheney on the outside. Tyler Ducharme also there. This pack starting to separate themselves a little bit. Six laps complete already. Here's the second group, Aaron Davis, Chris Scala, Jason Garrett. Kevin O'Brien kind of falling off, and Pop's also losing the draft. He's got damage. Richard Allen starting to lose the pack a little bit. Bobby Cheney on the outside, he's got the charm. See Bordeaux switching lanes, moving to the bottom, down there to the beach. Gable with Marcus Richardson going to the front. get with Beach and now Gable to the outside. He moves that lap. Tyler Ducharme on the outside there with Bobby Cheney. Gable. Down on the bottom pretty much. Aaron Davis, Jason Garrett up there on the top. Cheney 
going to pull to the bottom and Gable will come out the drive for now. Beach pulls up. Strongest pack. About 10 cars. As Cheney going to peek to the outside now. He wants to lead a lap. Ducharme going with him. Oh, 46 loose. Maverick up the wall. Aaron Davison ball. The 46 getting some damage and O'Brien getting hit. Launching out for the second time. See what happens. Looks like another bumper hook. Yep, right there. 46 and a three and a three moves up to letting the 46 up to see right there. the pit road is Jason Garrett. Safe. He got Caution number two on the track. Bobby Cheney in the lead. Again, normally these cars with 45% fuel on them, but a uh, mistake by the guy putting up the race, <coughs> me. And uh, these cars with full fuel tanks tonight. So uh, no need really to pit now. They should be able to save their way right to the finish. Some uh, news is coming in here. The New England Patriots had 11 of their 12 allotted game footballs underinflated by two pounds of air as required by the NFL regulations. See what happens with that deal. And you. And you see all the cars on pit road. Marcus Richardson, Bordeaux, Aaron Davis, Scala's in. See Richard Allen back there. Maverick McDonough, Kevin O'Brien are getting damage fixed. I believe that is the 46 of Downing. He's got a little bit of damage too. Start going to come here at lap number 14. And guess what? Let's go wide open. All right, the eardrums.
Gazon. Make sure the mic is on this time. You see Cheney and Ducharme in Nevada Beach and Justin Gable on the outside. Bordeaux and Richardson, the third tandem group. And his first two six right there. Brian Ray kind of on his own. Because this pack is split up. Marcus and Derek. Beach up there at Gable, Cheney and Ducharme on the bottom. Look at this. That second group of bars back there trying to get a line for him to get up there with these guys. As we complete line number 17, we're almost halfway already. Gable moving to the bottom, gonna switch with Beach. Marcus up there at the high side with Bordeaux. Cheney continuing to lead. Should I mention? One of the tighter battles that I've seen in a very long time going on here after seven races. In the race at Watkins Glen last week, Bordeaux leading the points by one over Ducharme, two over Caressel, six over Cheney, 10 over Scala, 17 over Schwint. That's your top six going into this race. on the outside with Mr. Beach. Bobby, Cheney, Tyler, Ducharme, your top four, and there's Marcus and Bordelli falling back just a little bit. Here comes that second pack. Aaron Davis leading, Troy Downing, Brian Ray, trying to suck up to this lead pack. And it looks like they're starting to get single file now. close. Seems like it's a lead change almost every lap so far. Beach leads that one barely over to Charm. Crew trying to get him up to this pack. Far downing in that 46, doing push, uh, doing as much pushing as he can without blowing the engine up. Eleven cars in the lead pack here, settling it out. Everybody else pretty much damaged or out. Other than that, it's been green and wild with all these passes going on. We 
Riley Gable on the outside here, going in three. Your front six, that second group still trying to stay up with that front pack. Kind of having a hard time doing so. the lap as we have 18 laps to go already here at Talladega. That second group getting side by side, that's going to slow them down. Oh, dude. That was close. But you sure I'm going to go out front. Cheney right there to behind him. Beach on the inside with Gable. Tyler making room. See Gable and Beach pulling away. Cheney's gone out here on an island a little bit. Need to get that 08 back up there to him. There's Bordeaux and Richardson. Aaron Davis and Downing have caught the pack finally. Brian Ray, Chris Scallon to seven. The 01 and Richard Allen kind of falling off the pace. Oh, and he shot with a block, and Bordeaux gets turned. Mark is going to go back there and get him, it looks like. Gable continues to lead, 15 laps to go. Should share our upcoming broadcast schedule since this race is going to be over with pretty quickly. Uh, tomorrow night we'll be on air again. Uh, it's about 8.30 or so, actually about 8 o'clock. As we got a dueling uh, schedule going on officially now, I'm actually going to be racing over with the uh, Extreme Motorsports League. However, as of Friday, there was the change in the schedule with Sim Racing Authority moving their race to Wednesday night, so it kind of put us in a bind. Um, so we're going to have, I'm going to be racing in that race, unfortunately. Sorry, guys. Uh, but um, we'll have that streak on for that race and then we'll broadcast the Sim Racing Authority B-Car uh, race. I'm not sure what uh, 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 but we will broadcast that race later on in the week, as I always do. We'll get the Gen 6 broadcast in from Charlotte Motor Speedway from the uh, Sim Racing Authority boys. Sim Racing Authority uh, Gen 6 presented by Lama Dog Racing. Oh, Brian Ray loose. And of course, Thursday, the uh, JTT series that you're watching right now at Charlotte. Beach, Gable, Bobby, and four here and then the rest of the pack right here
Derek and Marcus going on by. They're working their way back to that front pack. Seven laps to go next time by. It will continue to lead. There's this pack right here. Trying to stick with Marcus and Derek, but they're starting to stretch it out. That's an art game right now. See them getting hooked back up. <laughs> Brian Ray trying to push Aaron Davis up there to the back of Marcus in Bordeaux. their third and fourth, waiting for their opportunity to pounce. <laughs> Only the two caution so far in this race. Both happening pretty early. See Cheney and Ducharme. Gable Beach on the outside. I want that lead back. These two are coming. You want to see there Aaron Davis and Chris Scala together now. They're trying to push their way up. Bordeaux and Richardson, they have caught this lead pack on the way from falling back after the near spin by Bordeaux. Seven laps to go. Who is going to win the Sour Patch 106 here at Talladega?
is going to pull it off here. Talladega, Gable Lee, six to go. Justin Gamble looking to win his first career United Sim Racing Championship race. Can he do it tonight? That second pack is starting to fall off now. Five to go. car Maverick McDonough he was involved in that incident earlier Cheney with the lead four to go Looks like it's between these six. These other four are falling off now. Three wide. at Bordeaux and Marcus on the outside. Oh, Tyler with a move. Marcus and Bordeaux trying to block Gable and Bordeaux, or uh, in Beach, I should say. They're coming to two to go. Contact Porno spinning. Into the wall hard. No caution out. They're going to be coming to the white flag. Marcus Richardson, your leader. Here we go. Then it were five. Turn four, it's Cheney and Marcus for now. Oh, there goes Pete to the Cheney. They're spinning. Ducharme to move to the bottom. He's spinning. At 
the stripe, it's too close. And it's showing Gable as the winner. Justin Gable has won his first career USRC race. Well, let's see all that again. Going to start here. Ducharme and Beach come together. Cheney gets turned. Marcus gets doored. He saves it. Tyler makes a move to the bottom. He gets turned. And the best view I can find will be right here, probably. Right there. Fit the first on a final lap to win it. Mark is going to get second. The rest is still getting sorted out. And actually, they had some issues with uh, people getting black flagged and stuff in the end. So I actually have the final results over here on the page, and I'll get it up here real quickly. And just to uh, double check everything here at the line, just to make sure I got this right, it should be. It'll be Gable Marcus. Then back here, Beach will be third barely over Tyler. Aaron Davis will finish fifth. Scala six. Brian Ray, Troy Downing. And then back here, Cheney's still trying to go. Here comes Bordeaux, by the way. And Cheney's going to get ahead of Bordeaux. So it'll be Gable first, Richardson, Beach, Ducharme, Davis, your top five. Scala six, Ray seven, Downing, Cheney. In uh, Bordeaux, your top ten, Richard Allen, Pops, O'Brien, McDonough, Jason Garrett, Nick Caressel, your 16 finishers in this race. That was a wild one. Point standings after Talladega. Gable leads by three over Cheney. Uh, Bordeaux was four behind. Scala seven behind. Ducharme, nine behind. Caressel, 17 behind. Marcus, 19 behind. So your top seven within 20 points. It's going to get wild here these last five. Plus, there's another drop still to go at race 10. So should be a wild one. All right, I'm off to uh, get ready to go to sleep here. So I appreciate everybody watching. And... Uh, Next race I'll be on the air will be tomorrow evening at about 8 o'clock or so. So make sure you do uh, join us for that. Until then, enjoy the rest of your Tuesday night. Go to uh, usrconline.com and also uh, simracingauthority.com. Uh, they just had a big announcement tonight uh, involving a chase format. So you might want to definitely uh, look into that. That's going to make that league a lot of fun to uh, be a part of. So thanks for watching us. We'll see you tomorrow night.